Hi, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Who's up tonight? Kiki. Kiki? She just told one. So? So what happened? Did she threaten to pound you if you didn't give her another turn? <laughs> she probably could, too. <clears throat> Wait till you guys see this. <laughs> you look oh awesome. Chill out, guys. It's no big deal. I don't believe it. Y you look like, like, like a girl. What did you think I was, Squirt? <laughs> did you do this for your story? Whoa. This can be really scary. I'm doing this to make a statement. Everybody's got more than one side. So don't think you know everything about someone by looking at them one way. If you do that, you could miss out on a whole lot beneath the surface. And that could be a major mistake. Because what you don't know about somebody could turn out to be the one thing your life depends on. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story... The Tale of the Closet Keepers. Stacy was smart, funny, pretty, and better at hoops than just about every guy in school. But some kids didn't see any of that. No way, forget it. This isn't your call, Billy. Look, we've got signals and we've got plays. She never gets it till someone repeats it, and then it's too late. You act like she's dumb or something. You said it. I didn't. He's just being a jerk. See? What'd she say? She said that maybe you're the one who doesn't understand. Exactly. We can't win if we've got to do everything special for her. Come on. Way to go, jerk. Hey, it's not my fault she's sensitive about being deaf. No geeks, no nerds, no freaks. Meaning? Adolescent phraseology indicative of non-generic behavioral or physical characteristics to be avoided.
To me? You've got excellent moves on the court, dude. What are you guys? Scouts? Yes. Something like that. <laughs> In your dreams. Please, come with us. You're right. What are you gonna do? Change my channel? I say, what ho? Jolly good, what? Stop right there! Malfunction? Negative. You missed her. Again. We don't want you to disappoint your public. Interesting. <laughs> As you can see by the display, I had been expecting a boy. <laughs> In case your small mind is curious, you are among the first specimens we've collected, but soon will be fully operational. Natural habitats, exotic specimens, a fully refurbished snack bar, all for the delectation of... <laughs> well, let's just say there are those 
who will pay handsomely for such an educational experience. Do you do any tricks? Mm, not very bright, are you? <laughs> but that may be to your advantage. In my experience, the bright ones don't last. If you're thinking of escape, understand at first the sound merely paralyzes. After that, your mind will feel as if it's seeping out of your ears. Make yourself at home. You're going to be here for quite some time. Come on, stop pointing that thing at me. Look, I'm going in, see? place. Perfect. I gotta get stuck with someone who can't even talk. I am out of here. What? I don't get it. You're an animal in a cage. A zoo. This is a zoo? So, uh, where are all the animals? Yeah, right. Like, I really believe that... Who are they? I'm afraid she will need to be eliminated. But don't alarm the others. We don't want an uprising on our hands. This really is a zoo, isn't it? They call it the past. It's not bad if you don't look at it. How long have you been here? Just a couple of days, I think. I was first, but new kids are coming all the time. There's got to be some way out of here. No, the sound bars are everywhere. What's wrong with her? She's deaf. Get it. What's the big deal? What you see? The keepers use sound to keep us in. For the benefit of our new guests, at feeding time, children should be seen and not heard.
not hungry. You will be. Eating time is over. Get back to this place. When you finish cleaning up, collect that one. We have to get rid of her. What happened? What's the matter? You can read lips. What'd that guy say? Are you sure? Then run for it. The sound can't hurt you. There's nothing keeping you here. What? What's keeping you here? They'll hear the alarms, and they'll get you anyway. Yeah, maybe you're right. What's the second thing? Me? You want to stay because of me? Why? I haven't exactly been nice to you. That's because I can hear what you don't listen. Well, I'm listening now. Have any idea how to get out of this place? You lost me. You want a mirror? I'm doing my best, okay? Slow down, that's gonna last! What are you doing? I get it, the mirror, the foil. But why? Look out! The alarm didn't go off. The light reflected the mirror. That's why you need the mirror. You're a genius.
doctor for me. Come on, Stace, let's book! Going somewhere. Primitive responses. I see I was right about you. That's more like it. You've disrupted my zoo. You freed my specimens, and now you're going to pay! No! You wouldn't want to hurt your friend, would you? Stacy, please! Hit it! No! I'm going to find you! I'm going to find you! And bring you back! Worked. They're gone. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, I get it. Thank you. You're welcome. After their strange adventure, Stacy and Billy became friends. No one believed their story about the zoo, but they always knew they could talk about it with each other. The end. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. You want to go shopping tomorrow? Get real. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <Yeah. laughs>